Hello Bros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvedril. In this video I'm going to show you how to add an extra physical hard drive to, to an old laptop. So an old laptop is one that has a CD DVD reader. Alright? So for that end, I'm going to use this HP ProBook 4540S, but any other model is going to be the same process, all right? As long as it has a CD DVD reader. So I have used this laptop in the past to upgrade the BIOS version. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen. So as you can see, this is the laptop. Normally these older laptops uh, have this uh, number keypad. So to feed the CD DVD reader, uh, this laptop is from 2012. I, I forgot to mention that. So as you can see, this one has the CD DVD reader, as you can see there. So what we are going to do now, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera, is I'm going to show you really quick uh, that this uh, laptop only has one hard drive. You can see it there. Uh, it's that's the capacity, that's the C drive where the operating system and all of my files are located. So as you can see, there is only one physical hard drive on this computer. And that's all it has. So we're going to add one more. And you can see the CD DVD reader that we're going to replace using ad an adapter, of course. So now I'm going to shut it down, as you can see there. And now I'm going to disconnect everything. And we're going to turn it over. So now I'm going to open the cover. You can see there the battery is dead for many years now. So we have to remove this. It, depending on your model, this might be easier or a little more, a little harder. So in my case, it's really simple to remove. So you can see it there. And this is the uh, laptop. So this is the hard drive. This is the RAM. That's the cooler for the fans. And that's the CD DVD reader. So if you, if you look uh, closely, you have to look for a screw. So normally it's one or two. It has uh, like an icon of a disc. So you have to see, look for something like that. So using my Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to remove it. But I'm not able to remove it, so I have to turn it over so the screw falls on, on my hand. So once I do that, you can see there uh, something like, I don't know what, how to explain it, but you have to push it. Make sure uh, you have to push it like that so you can free it. So make sure that you have removed all the screws, okay? Otherwise, you won't be able to remove it. So now we're going to use the adapter. So this, this is the one, so the, so this is the cover and the adapter is, uh, the brand is Beijing, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. So the link is going to be in the video description below if you're interested. So this is how it looks. So this is the Kingston. This is a hard drive, 120 gigabytes. Again, can be any other brand, but if you're interested, the link is going to be in the video description for the SSD. So now. This is how it looks. It can it looks like aluminum and it also has two screws. I'm going to show you one is there. We're going to put it on top for a few seconds and it comes with a screw, uh, a screwdriver. So we're going to remove it like that. Very simple. Don't forget to subscribe, please, if you like this video. So now we're going to install the hard drive. I mean, the new SSD. It doesn't have to be new, but you see the connector over there. And I'm showing you that I'm not wearing any jewelry or glasses or glasses or watches. And I discharge myself of any static electricity that I might ha have in my body because we're using electronics. So we install it like that. Very simple, very easy, very quick. And we're going to use the screws to uh, um, make the SSD more secure. So I'm going to use the uh, my Philips screwdriver that came with this device. And there is another, you can use it as well, but in my opinion, it's already very secure. I'm not going to use it. As you can see, it doesn't fall. So I'm, I'm just going to leave it aside. So once we do that, we are going to, uh, as you can see, this, this seems um, like an aluminum or something like that. So, I mean, it's not going to be outside anyway. It's going to be inside the laptop. So you put it back like that. You hear the click and that means it's installed. So now we can uh, cover it with this CD DVD reader <laughs> case, something that it's going to do like a CD DVD reader or drive. But of course, it doesn't work. It's just uh, to fool people. <laughs> and so it doesn't look that ugly. So now the next step is going to be to turn on the laptop and verify if we can see the drive, the new SSD. So I'm going to connect it, press uh, the power button. And now uh, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. I'm going to cover my mess with the laptop. So there we go. 
I'm going to press escape and I'm going to log in. Yes, I like Naruto. That's not a surprise for anybody. <laughs> I like anime a lot. So now we're going to log into the laptop. You can see it there, it's the same. I'm going to go to this PC. Uh, the, the laptop is a little slower, guys. Sorry for that. And you can see that I have an extra partition D new volume. So as you can see, it's 120 gigabytes and it's empty. Okay, so this hard, uh, SSD is not new. It can be new, but if it's it's not. If you don't see it there, then you have to go to computer management, as you can see there, and you have to be the admin to access it. Otherwise, it's going to ask you for a password for the admin password. So once you're there, you have to go to disk management, as you can see there, and it's going to load all the hard drives that you have. So the first one is where the operating system is, the C drive, and the second one is the new hard drive. Well, the, the new that we installed a few seconds ago. You, as you can see, it's blue. If you don't see it blue, you might see it black if it's new. So that means you have to right click on it as I'm doing there and click um, create a new volume. So that way you will be able to actually use the hard drive to initialize it, if you will. All right. So I one more thing. I tried to use this um, adapter to boot the operating system, but it didn't work in my case. So if you are uh, if you want to do that, it might not work. This is just to expand your storage capacity. Maybe you want to create a backup of your hard drive, or maybe you just want to, um, to have an extra hard drive, okay, an extra SSD for more storage, or, you know, to make a backup. So that's how you would do it. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.